okay, this is a shark attack investigation. So we're going to investigate how the temperature of water affects the spread of blood. Now, my pretend blood is supposed to be red food colouring, but I only have blue for this. Um, you can also see the other gear that I'm going to use. I've got a measuring cylinder, a beaker and a thermometer and a pipette ready with the food colouring. And my phone is going to be my stopwatch. So the aim of the investigation is already in your template. So how does the temperature of water affect the spread of blood? And what I'd like you to do now is fill in a prediction. So what do you think is going to happen as I take, change the temperature of the water? All right, so now you've done that, um, you do need to think about the gear that's involved. So you've got a measuring cylinder to measure the volume of the water accurately a beaker where I've made the temperature up by mixing um, a bit of ice in with tap water, a thermometer, my food colouring and a pipette, and then my stopwatch. So what I'm going to get you to do now is think about the variables that you are going to um, use. So your independent variable, first of all, will be the thing that we're going to change. So can you tell me what are we going to change in this investigation? The second thing I want you to write down is the dependent variable. So that's the thing we're going to measure. So what is it we're going to measure? And then lastly, the control variable. So I want you to try and think about three things that I'm going to need to keep the same for this investigation to be a fair test and give me valid results. Now, all of those controls, can you tell me how I'm gonna keep them the same? All right, let's see if we can get one set of results um, now. So you can see I've already measured out 50 mils of water. So I've already put that into my measuring cylinder and I've made sure I've measured that at eye level. Now the temperature of the water currently is 20 degrees in my beaker that I've got my water from. Now the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use one drop of um, pretend blood, which is my food coloring. And once I've dropped that into the water, I'm gonna time how long it takes for that drop to get down to the very last mark at the bottom of my measuring cylinder, that very bottom line there. Okay, so we're gonna pop it in, just one drop, and then we're gonna start the stopwatch. Now what I'm gonna do is make sure that I'm close to the top and then drop it start my stopwatch very quickly and here it goes okay so we're going to keep timing until um, our pretend bud our food coloring hits that very bottom line at the bottom of the measuring cylinder and then i'll stop my stopwatch okay almost there and measuring at eye level stop. Okay, so you can see, okay, so that was 20 degrees and that took 31.86 seconds. Now, how many more times do you think I should do um, 20 degrees before I move on? So what I want you to do now is fill in the template, the rest of the template with a method of how I carried that out.